How's it going guys? Chips here with you again, back with another Ark Let's Build video, and in today's video, we're going to be building this Viking longhouse that you see in front of you now. For those of you who are new to the channel, this is going to be a step-by-step -step walkthrough video with voiced-over instructions so you can get this build on your Ark. And for a full list of building materials you will need for this build, as well as the map cords where I built this, check out the description below. And guys, all of the decorations and paint on this build was done by You Were a Monkey, so I'm going to leave her channel linked down in the description as well as in a comment. Make sure you guys go check her out and show her some love for her hard work on this build. But anyways, guys, with all of that said, I just want to tell you thank you so much for being here today, checking out this video, and let's go ahead and let's get to building. Alright, so we're going to start off by laying out our foundation. So we're going to start with a 4x4 four four square of wooden foundations. Then we're going to come to this back corner right here and we're going to take a row of 10 stone foundations going across. Now we'll go ahead and add five more rows of 10 stone foundations right in front of those ones. Now we're going to come over here and place another 4x4 four four wooden foundation, the same as we did over there. Now we're going to head to the front of our build and right here on these middle four foundations, so we'll count four in. And right here we'll place a wooden foundation and then add three more, and then add another row in front of those. Just like that. Now we'll come to the back side. And on the middle four foundations here on the back side, we'll add a row of four stone foundations. So this will make up the foundation for our build. So what we're going to do is switch all of the stone foundations to block, switch those wooden ones on the front to block, and leave the wooden ones on the side alone. All right, now we're going to go ahead and start adding pillars. Starting off over here on one of our sides, we'll go ahead to this foundation right here and place a wooden fence foundation on the edge of it. Go ahead and add one wooden pillar to each side of that fence foundation and do the same thing right here on this foundation. Now we'll come one foundation in and place another wooden fence foundation just like this. On the inside snap point we're going to add two wooden pillars. And on the outside snap point we're going to add three wooden pillars. We'll do the same thing over here. Now we're going to head in here to where our wood and our stone foundations meet and place another fence foundation on the wood. On the inside snap point right here, we're going to add four wooden pillars. And on the outside snap point, we're going to add five wooden pillars. We'll do the same thing over on the other side right here. And this will make up all of our pillars for our side. So now we're going to go ahead over to the other side and just duplicate what we just did. Next, we're going to go ahead and do our pillars on the front. So we're going to start off by coming in here to this corner. And we're going to place a wooden fence foundation right here and then snap three wooden pillars here on the corner. We'll do this again right here on this corner between the wood and the stone. Repeat this process over here on this side. Now on this wooden platform, we're going to go ahead and place a wooden fence foundation right here on the side. And on this inside snap point, we're going to add two pillars. And on the front ledge right here, we're going to add one. And then we'll just repeat this over here. All right, now we're going to go ahead and start working on our backside pillar. So we're going to start off by coming to the second stone foundation and placing a wooden fence foundation right here on the edge. Then on this snap point right here, we will place five high wooden pillars. We're going to come over here to this foundation right here and place another wooden fence foundation. And then on each side of that, we'll add five more wooden pillars. Now you can go ahead over here and just copy those last two steps on this side. Now
Now right here on this little outcrop, we're going to go ahead to this corner and add another wooden fence foundation. And then on each side of that, we're going to add two wooden pillars. And we'll do the same thing over here on this corner. Now we're going to head inside to the build and right here on this same foundation over here on this side, we'll add another wooden fence foundation. On this side right here, we'll add three wooden pillars. And on this side right here, we will add two. Then go ahead over here to this side and do the exact same thing. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and start building up our walls starting off here on these side rooms. So the first thing we're gonna do is come into one of our sides and we're going to place a sloped thatch wall going along these foundations, just like this. Then we will place a thatch ceiling down in front of those. Now we're going to go ahead and get out a stone railing and we are going to rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system so that you get this snap point right here that's actually placing on the thatch ceiling. Do this two more times and then go ahead and destroy these thatch ceilings. And now we can go ahead and get out a wooden wall and just go ahead and replace those sloped thatch walls with your wooden wall. Now you can go ahead and do this on the other side as well. Now we're going to come around to this side where we're going to have our side entrance to our build. And right here we're going to start off by placing another sloped thatch wall on this front snap point like that. Go ahead and place your stone railing in front of it, doing the same thing, rotating the snap point. And then replace it with a wooden wall, same as we did before. Right here in the middle we're going to go ahead and place a wooden double door frame. And fill that in with a wooden double door. Do that again in the next spot. And then right here again, we'll go ahead and place our sloped thatch wall. Go ahead and place your stone railing in front of it and then go ahead and replace it with a wooden wall again. Just like that. Now we're gonna go ahead over here to this side and we're going to place another line of thatch ceilings above these wooden walls. And we're now gonna go ahead and get out a wooden wall and again, rotate the snap point so that you have it placing like this and go ahead and place one of these on each of these thatch ceilings. And then you can just go ahead and pick up these thatch ceilings and go to the other side and repeat this over here. Now we'll come back over here to our entrance side and we'll do the same thing on this spot right here and on the other spot on the other corner. And then right here in the middle, we're just going to go ahead and place another wooden double door frame on each of these and fill those in with wooden double doors. So now that we have this first step done here for this side, we're gonna go ahead and just duplicate this on the other side. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do it off camera real quick just to save us a little bit of time. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and add some details here on our side. So the first thing we're gonna do is come in above these double door frames and go ahead and place a wooden catwalk right here in the middle. Add one more on each side of it. Then we'll go ahead right here and place wooden stairs on each of these foundations. And then on the remaining foundations, we'll just go ahead and place wooden railings. And then we're going to go ahead over here to our other side and we're just going to duplicate what we just did over here. Alright, so now we're going to finish off the first level of our sides by building the interior walls. So we're going to come right in here between these two pillars and get out a wooden wall. Now we need to again rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system. And we're going to be looking for this light blue snap point that is behind the wooden fence foundation. So go ahead and place that down. Go ahead and add another one on top of it. And then do the same thing right over here. Now again, you want to make sure you're getting the one that's behind the fence foundation, not this one that's on top of it. Now we're going to head over to the other side and do the same thing over here. Now to start building up the walls here on our front side, we're going to start off here on these stone foundations by placing a stone wall on each of them. We're then going to take stone walls all the way across the front here on these stone foundations, including right here in the middle portion. And then we'll place two more right over here. 
Now we're gonna go ahead and get out a sloped thatch wall and place one right here on these two. We'll then place thatch ceilings in front of them. Go ahead and then get out your stone railings and again rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system so that you're placing it on the thatch ceiling. Then go ahead and pick up those thatch ceilings and just replace those sloped thatch walls with wooden walls. So now we're going to go ahead around and do this on top of all of these stone walls going all the way around here. Now we're going to go ahead and build up the staircase here on the front. So we're going to start off here on the corner by placing a wooden wall and then the appropriate sloped wooden wall. We'll add another sloped wooden wall right here. Come around to the other side over here and do the same thing. And then we will come to the front here and we will place a stone stair coming down from each of these walls. Do another row right in front of that. And then add one more row coming down from those stairs. Now for the backside walls, we're gonna start off right here by placing a stone wall in the first four spots. Then we will add a stone double door frame in these two middle spots and fill those in with reinforced doors. And then place stone walls in these last four spots. Then we will go ahead and place a thatch ceiling right here. Get out a wooden wall and again, rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system so that it's placing like this on the thatch ceiling. Go ahead and pick up that ceiling and just repeat this all the way across. Next, we're gonna go ahead and build up this little porch on the back side, starting off in the middle right here with stone stairs in front of each of these foundations. And then we'll just place stone railings on the remaining foundations. All right, now we're gonna start working on the inside staircase that's here on the back side. So we'll start off over here between these two pillars by placing a wooden door frame and wooden door with a wooden wall on top. Go ahead to the other side and do the same thing over here. Then we will go ahead and right here in the middle, we're gonna place a wooden wall on each of these spots and add another one between these two pillars and between these two pillars. Then on top of this one right here, we're going to add the appropriate sloped wooden wall so that it points like this. Add another one pointing towards this pillar and do the same thing over on this side. And then we can go ahead and fill in right above these doors with wooden ceilings. And then we can just go ahead and add stone stairs to get us up to those ceilings, just like this. And then one more on each side to get us to the top of these walls. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and start filling in the ceiling for our first floor. So we're gonna start off here on the front by placing three rows of 10 wooden ceilings. Now we wanna make sure as we're doing this, we place all of our ceilings in the same direction. Now we're gonna go ahead and extend three more wooden ceilings to get us to the back right here. And then we'll bring two more right here to get us to those stairs and do the same thing on the other side. Now we can go ahead and fill in entirely both of these side rooms with wooden ceilings. Again, making sure that you're placing them in the same direction as the rest of our wooden ceilings. And now with all of these ceilings placed, the last thing we're gonna do real quick is just go ahead and line this area right here with wooden railings. Now again, this is something that I've decided to do to kind of create this little bit of an overhang here on the center of our inside. If you wanna just fill out this second floor with wooden ceilings to give you more space on the second floor, that's entirely up to you. This is just what I went with for the design. 
All right, now we're gonna go ahead and start building up our next level, starting off with our side buildings. So we're gonna come in here to the front and add a wooden wall on top of each of these wooden walls. Again, you may need to rotate the snap point so that you're getting the light blue side facing like this. Go ahead and add one of those on top of these other two as well. Then we're gonna come over here to the side and we're gonna start off by doing that again right here in the corner and then adding the appropriate sloped wooden wall on top. On these middle two spots, we will place down a thatch ceiling first and go ahead and again, get out a wooden wall and rotate the snap point so that it's placing like this. And then just go ahead and add one on top of each of those. Now we are not gonna create our peak yet. Go ahead and destroy the thatch. And then right here, go ahead and place another wooden wall and the appropriate sloped wooden wall. And then on the back side here, place three more wooden walls. So now we're just gonna go ahead over to our other side and duplicate this. All right, now for the inside wall. So first we're gonna start off right here between these two pillars by getting out a wooden wall and again, rotating the snap point so that we're getting this light blue side facing us. Go ahead and add another one on top of that. Right here in the middle, we'll get out a wooden double door frame and again, rotate it so that we have this green side facing us. Add a wall on top of that and do this one more time right here. And then add two more wooden walls right here. Then we'll come back to the middle and right here on top of these walls, we'll place a wooden catwalk in the middle and then one more on each side. Then back here in this spot, we'll place another wooden wall and then the appropriate sloped wooden wall. Right here in the middle, we're just gonna add one more wooden wall on each of these. And then we will again add a wooden wall and the appropriate sloped wooden wall here. So now we'll just go ahead to our other side and duplicate this over there. All right, now back here on our front, we're gonna head in here to the second row of wooden ceilings. And right here on this inline, we're gonna go ahead and place a wooden fence foundation, just like that. We're gonna skip this one and add another one on this inline. Then we're gonna add one on the very next inline right here. We'll go ahead and again, skip this one and do it again right here. Do it again on the very next inline. And then again, skip one and come and do it right here. Now we're gonna go ahead and on each side of all of these wooden fence foundations, we're gonna place three high wooden pillars. Then once you have all of these wooden pillars placed up top, what we're gonna do is head downstairs into this portion down here where they're hanging down. And we're gonna go ahead and drop a wooden pillar down from each of these. And you may have to work around to find the snap point. Sometimes it can be a little stubborn when you're dropping these pillars down. And then once you get it down by one wood, we're gonna go ahead and finish it off with one stone to get it into the ground. So it should look like this. So just go ahead and do this on the rest of these pillars. I'm gonna do it off camera real quick just to save us a little bit of time. Next, we're gonna go ahead and build up the front side wall. So we're gonna start off right here on this corner between these two pillars. We're gonna get out a wooden wall. And again, we're gonna rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system. So that it's placing like this. Go ahead and add two more on top of it. In these two spots right here, we're gonna place a wooden double door frame facing the normal way like this. Fill those in with wooden double doors. Go ahead and place another door frame on top of each of those and fill those in. And then we're gonna go ahead and place a thatch ceiling attached to those. Get out a wooden wall and again, rotate the snap point and place those down just like this. Go ahead and destroy the thatch. Then right here in this next spot, we're again going to place three high wooden walls flipped around. And we're just going to repeat this, what we have right here on the rest of these spots. So in the double spots, you'll use the doors. And then in the single spot, you'll use just the three high walls.
Now here on the back side of the build, we're just going to head in here and get out another wooden wall. And again, we're going to rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system so that it's placing like this. Go ahead and add two more on top. And we're just going to do this exact same thing all the way across. So three high wooden walls facing in this direction. All right, now back here on the front side, we're going to come into the side of these ceilings right here and go ahead and place a stone railing on each one and then add a wooden railing on top. Do that again right here on the front on these three. And then we're just going to skip over our stairs and do the same thing over here on this side. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and start building up the roofs on our side rooms. Now we're going to break this out into two parts. So the first thing we're going to do here on part one is where we have these sloped walls right here. We're going to go ahead and take sloped wooden roofs across just like this. Do that again on the other side. And this will basically just give us a place to stand on if you don't have creative mode to place these ceilings. So now right here on the front where we have these walls, we're going to go ahead and put wooden ceilings inside of them just like this. Then we're going to go ahead and place a wooden fence foundation right here on the inline between them. And go ahead and place a wooden pillar on the front and drop two more down so that it just crosses over these catwalks. Just like that. Go ahead to the back and add one more wooden pillar right here. Then we will go ahead and place two more wooden fence foundations. One on each side of that one we already placed. So one right here and one more right here. Then we're going to go ahead and get out wooden walls and we're first going to place one on this far snap point on that last fence foundation. Get out another one and rotate through the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system until you get this middle one right here. So not that one, that's the far one. We want the one that's in the middle. You might have to mess around with it a little bit to get the right snap point. So that one right there. And then we're going to go ahead and place the last one on that far snap point. So right there. So you'll now have three walls just like this. So that's going to be the first step. So we're going to go ahead to the other side and just duplicate what we have so far on the other side of the build. All right. So as you can see, I have duplicated what we did over there on the other side. So we're going to head back in here and finish off these side roofs. So the first thing we're going to do is get out a wooden catwalk and we want to place this so that the middle two beams of the catwalk are hugging that middle wall that we've placed of these three walls. So if it doesn't place right, you might need to work around with it and find the right snap point. It can be a little bit finicky, but you're looking for this snap point right here. As you can see, the middle two beams are hugging that middle wall. Go ahead and place three more in line with that one, just like this, so that it crosses over those walls. And then go ahead and fill this area in right here with two more walls. Now come to this front pillar right here and go ahead and add another pillar on top of it like this. Come to the front here and first on this side right here, we're going to get out a sloped wooden wall left and we're going to rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system so that it faces like this. Go ahead and do the same thing over here with a sloped wooden wall right. Come around to the back side here and we're again going to place a sloped wooden wall left right here and a sloped wooden wall right right here just like that. Then coming to the top, we're going to go ahead and get out a sloped wooden wall right and we're going to be looking for this snap point that is closest to us where it's facing in this direction and this time we're going to just flip the wall around using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system so that it faces like this and it should be hugging to the side of that pillar go ahead and do the same thing over here with a sloped wooden wall left and there you go so now we're just going to go ahead and fill in the remainder of our roof with sloped wooden roofs And this will make up that side roof so far. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to go ahead off camera and duplicate what we just did over on the other side. All right, now we're going to add our three roofs here on the front. So we're going to come in above where we have the double doors and we're going to go ahead and place a wood ceiling in each of these spots and do that in the other two spots as well. Then on all three of these, we're going to go ahead and place a wooden fence foundation right down the inline between the two ceilings. Then go ahead and just snap one wooden pillar to each side of all of those fence foundations. Now we'll go ahead and get out fence foundations again and we're going to add one more on each side of the ones we've already placed. So one right there and one more right here. 
Go ahead and do that on the other two. Now we'll go ahead and get out wooden walls. And again, we're first gonna be looking for this far snap point right here. Get out another one and we are gonna rotate through the snap point again using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system so that you get this middle one right here. And then add one more right here so that you have three total walls and do that on the other two as well. All right, now we're gonna come back in here above our walls and get out a wooden catwalk. And again, we're gonna be placing it so that it hugs that middle wooden wall, just like that. Go ahead and extend two more out from this going into our build. Just like this. Then go ahead here on the front and add one more wooden pillar on top of this one. And then on the front, we're gonna go ahead and get out the appropriate sloped wooden wall. And we're gonna be placing this normal so that the dark wooden side is facing us. Do that on the back side as well. Then we're gonna go ahead to the top here and on this side, we're gonna get out a sloped wooden wall right. And we're gonna get this snap point that's facing like this. And then again, we're going to flip the wall around using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system and place it down so that it is hugging the outside of that pillar. Do the same thing on this side with a sloped wooden wall left. And this is what we have as a finished product. Now we're not gonna fill this in with sloped wooden roofs yet. We're gonna wait to do that in a later step. So just go ahead and duplicate what we just did here on this platform on our other two platforms. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and start on the roof for the topmost roof. So first we're gonna come in here to the side and add a wooden ceiling inside of each of these walls, just like this. Go ahead again and place a wooden fence foundation right here on the inline between them. Then here on the outside, we're gonna place a wooden pillar, add one more going down from it, and then come down into the inside of our build and add one more just so it crosses this catwalk, just like that. We'll come back to the top and add one more right here. Then we'll get out our wooden fence foundations again and we'll add one on each side of the one we already have placed, just like this. And then go ahead and get out wooden walls and again, we're gonna be first looking for that far one. Then we're gonna get out another one and rotate through the snap points until we get this middle one right here in the middle. If it doesn't place correctly, just pick it up and try again, just like that. And then we'll go ahead and add one more here on the outside one like that so that we have three total walls. So just go ahead to the other side of our topmost roof over here and we're gonna duplicate that whole process over here. Continuing with the roof, we're gonna come in here above these walls and again, place a wooden catwalk so it's hugging that middle wall. And then we're just gonna take these all the way across the top of our build so that it's hanging over the other pillar on the other side. So just like that. Now you can go ahead and here on the edge, add another wooden pillar on top of this one and do that on the other side as well. Then we're gonna go ahead here to the outside of our wall and we're gonna get out the appropriate sloped wooden wall and again, rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system so that it's facing inward like this. Go ahead and do the same thing here with the opposite one and then go ahead and also place them here on the inside. Now we're gonna go ahead and get out a sloped wooden wall right here on the top. And we're gonna be looking for this snap point again. And then again, we are going to actually flip the wall this time so that it's hugging the outside of the pillar like that. Do the same thing on this side with a sloped wooden wall left. And you will have this as your finished effect. So go ahead and do this last step again over here on the other side. Now we're gonna go ahead and fill in the remainder of our roof. So starting here on the back side, we're just gonna take two rows of sloped wooden roofs all the way across. Now we'll go ahead and head to the front and you can do this again on the top row here on the front, but hold off doing it on the bottom row. So just do this top row first. 
Now for the bottom row, if we're on official settings, we need to do this in a specific order to get these roofs to cross. So we're gonna start off by placing one here on this corner right here. We'll go ahead and place one right here on this outside ledge right here. Then we're gonna place one right here on the left one, just like that, and then cross it with the one on the right like that. Come around to the other side and we're gonna place one right here. Then we're gonna place this one again first, and then we will cross it with the one coming down from our bigger roof. So just like that. So just kind of continue doing it on this pattern as we go across this roof as well. All right, now we're gonna add some more detail here on our front three entryways. So we're gonna to come to the side here and place a stone railing just like this. We'll do that again here on these front two spots. And then one more time here on the other side. And we'll just do the same thing on these other two entryways. For our front side overhang, we're just gonna go in here and in line with this pillar, we're gonna place one more pillar in the ground and then add one more on top. And then we'll just drop a wooden ramp down from each of these walls, just like this, and go ahead and do the same thing over on the other side. Now we're gonna go ahead and create the overhang here on the back side of the build. So we're gonna start off in front of this pillar by placing another pillar in the ground and then adding one more on top of it. We'll do the same thing in front of these two pillars right here. Then we'll go to the other side and do the same thing over in front of these two pillars. And we'll do that one more time here on this corner. Now we're going to go ahead and get out wooden ramps again, and we're going to drop three down here from this side roof. And then we're just going to continue this across the back side of our build until we reach the other side. Now we're gonna create our fenced in area. So we're gonna start off here on this pillar by placing a wooden ladder. Then we'll go ahead and climb on that wooden ladder and get out a wooden fence support while looking down. Go ahead and jump off and we're just gonna place this so that it just barely sticks out of the pillar. And so that it's kind of right in the middle of the pillar, just like that. Go ahead and then pick up your wooden ladder. Then we're gonna get out another wooden fence support and we're gonna rotate through the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system until we have it placing in line between those two pillars, just like that. Then you can go ahead and pick up this outside one. Now we're gonna get out another wooden fence support and we're going to now rotate through the snap point until we have it facing straight going sideways like this. Go ahead and add two more to get us to our next pillar. Then we're gonna go ahead and add one more right here between these two pillars. And then we'll go ahead and add two more here between these two pillars. Now we're gonna come over here to our other side and we're gonna come to this pillar right here and place a wooden ladder on the side of it. Go ahead and again, climb up on that, look down, get out your wooden fence support and jump off. And we're just gonna line this up again so that it's just kind of just outside of the pillar and right in the middle, just like that. Then you can go ahead and pick up that ladder Go ahead and add another wooden fence support to get us to that pillar. Another one between these two pillars again. Then three more to get us to that pillar. And then again, we will place one more rotated around so that it's going between these two pillars, just like this. Now we're gonna head back over to our other side and we're gonna start filling this in. So first here on the outside, we're gonna place a stone wall with a stone railing on top of it. We'll do that again in these three spots right here. In this next spot right here between these two pillars, we're going to place a stone double door frame and fill that in with a double door, a reinforced double door. Here, right here in this open spot right here, we're gonna place two more stone walls and two more stone railings. And then we're just going to duplicate what we have right there on the other side. All 
All right, guys, so that is going to do it for the building portion of this video. Now, as always, you or Monkey is going to come in and work her magic on the paint and decorations. So, guys, do me a favor and stick around for one more second, and I'll give you a little bit of a look at what she comes up with. All right, guys, so like you can see, you or Monkey has, as always, hooked us up with an awesome paint job and some great decorations. She's really outdone herself once again. So I'm going to kind of real quickly show you what she's done. But guys, make sure, again, I'm going to leave her video linked in a comment below. Go check out her full tour video of all of her decorations on this build. So first, as you can see here on the outside, she's obviously hooked us up with a great paint scheme for this build. And she has gone ahead and extended out our build and done some really awesome things here on the front, bringing in some Thames and adding on some decoration to make this a little more Viking styled. She's done the same thing here on the backside, adding some more stuff here on the backside, just going to give it a little bit more life going around on the backside. She's added some stuff into these little pens that we built on the inside there. We're going to go ahead and just check out the bottom floor. So we'll start off coming in over here. And in this first room right here, she has turned this into kind of like our throne room or like our room where you would meet like the Viking Lord. So we have this really cool fire and then we have our Viking Lord over here on his throne. We've got some Hyenodons around him. It just looks really great. As we head into our main hall here, she has hooked us up with an awesome, awesome Viking hall area here with some really great tables and some really great decor all the way around this area. Some really cool, unique stuff like this pig roast. Some areas over here where all of our other Vikings would be sleeping and whatnot. Just some really great decor all the way around. And then over here in this other room on the downstairs, she's kind of turned this into like a work room. So we've got a bunch of smithies in here. We've got a bunch of forges in here. This is just where they would all be doing their work. And then I'm not going to show you the upstairs rooms. I'm going to leave that for her video. So again, guys, make sure you go check out her video to get a full tour, a little bit more of an in-depth tour of all of her decorations. All right, guys, so that is going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the build. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope it was easy for you to follow along and get this build on your arc. Guys, if you did enjoy the build in the video and you haven't already, do me a favor and hit that like button. Go ahead and leave me some feedback in the comments below. And of course, guys, if you're new to the channel, go check out some other builds. And if you like what you see, subscribe for future arc Let's Build videos. Also, guys, make sure you check out the description for a link to my Twitter where you can stay up to date with me, as well as a link to my Discord where you can come hang out, chat, share pictures of your builds, and a ton of other stuff. And also, guys, once again, make sure you go check out your Monkey's channel and show her a ton of love for her hard work on this build. But anyways, guys, with all of that said, I just want to tell you thank you so much for being here today, checking out this video, and have a great day.